Everyone knows that electric cars are less expensive to run than petrol or diesels. Now, they cost about a quarter of the amount to fuel, there's no tax, servicing costs are about two thirds, and the company car tax is really low too. But they do cost more to buy than their petrol or diesel counterparts. However, going for a used electric car like this one is one way to make the switch more affordable. You just need to be happy that somebody else's name was on the registration document first and be prepared to do a few extra checks. So we're here to help clear the air for you and make buying a used electric car easy. Buying a nearly new model can give you a good saving off the list price, with many dealers selling off their demonstrators and display cars with four or even five figure discounts. Other electric cars are likely to hit the market in decent numbers when they're three and four years old, as finance and lease agreements with the first owners come to an end around this time. If you do want to go older than this, then I'd recommend that you stick to the modern generation of electric cars. So anything from 2011 onwards. Anything else? Well, I hate to say it, but it probably deserves to be in a museum. But do bear in mind that electric car technology moves fast. So a car from even three years ago won't have the same range and tech as the latest models. But if it meets your need and your lifestyle, then there's no reason not to go for it. Even an old Nissan Leaf like this, or a Renault Zoe with an 80 mile range, will still work for someone who does a regular commute or general run around. You can just plug it in overnight and wake up to a full battery. You'll never have to go to a petrol station again. Unless you need chocolate or pasties. Oh yeah, flowers on your wedding anniversary. I know what you men do. But like with any used car, you are gonna have to do a few checks first. So let's talk about the battery, shall we? Now, when the new generation of electric cars first appeared, there were rumors spread around that the power packs were going to need replacing after three years or so, and that they would cost thousands. Turned out not to be true. The batteries are actually very reliable, probably more so than a petrol or a diesel engine is. Look, yes, just like your mobile phone battery, they can lose a bit of performance over time and after a lot of charging. So one thing you should do is check that they've been looked after and check how much range is actually left in them. Now, there is usually a way of checking the health of the battery in the car's electronic menu or on a leaf like this one. It's actually on the display right here. You can see 12 little bars there on the side and that tells me that this one owned by our editor-in-chief Tom has been well looked after because they are all intact. If you want to know the right way to check that on a different car then do take a look at our used car buying guides over on electrifying.com. You also need to check that you've got a way of charging it and I don't mean just a home charger with a cable fitted to it. Any electric car should also come with at least one cable and usually more. So do check for those too, as they can be quite expensive to replace. You'll also want to check the paperwork, especially the service history. Servicing electric cars is much cheaper than most petrol or diesel cars. So there's no excuse for maintenance not being kept up to date. It's okay to have tires, brakes and bits like that done by a local garage, but you'll want evidence that the electric parts have been probed by someone who's been on a few courses and has got a nice shiny certificate, which means they know how to work on an electric car safely. The same goes for accident repairs. These need a bit of specialist knowledge to fix, so make sure any work has been done to proper standards by someone who knows what they're doing. So that's our quick guide to buying a used electric car and we've got more in-depth guides to each individual model on the reviews over on the website so please do go over and check them out at electrifying.com. We've also got loads of fantastic used electric car reviews here on the YouTube channel so don't forget to subscribe and switch those notifications on.